Once I have assigned and graded assignments, I can click on the Grades tab and there will be a list of students and a list of assignments. And if I click on any particular assignment, I can see the assignment. If I click on any student's uh, assignment, I can click to open that work. I can give uh, typed feedback and a grade here. If I want to actually go into the document and give feedback, I can click and go into the document. And if I want to take advantage of uh, the ability to ink or, or type comments or highlight, then I can go into the document and do that. But if I don't need all that and I just want to enter some general feedback, I can do that right here. I can scroll through each student so I can see each student's submission. I can also if I want to see an entire student's work, I can click on that student's name and I can see all of their submitted coursework and grades and then I can go to each one of those as well. And I can export this to Excel. So this is just one way to export student grades. So all of that's available within the Grades tab. Uh, while I'm here, I'll also click on the Insights tab, which is brand new. Uh, here you get um, your average grade over the last week, the last month, or from the beginning of this class. You can do that for all students or choose a certain, uh, select individual students or groups of students. You can also see how often they've turned them in on time. And then for you, the teacher, your time for feedback. And notice that there is both the average listed here and the shaded area is the range. So if you click on or hover over any of these, it'll say that um, the average time was 2.7 days, but that ranged from 70 seconds to 18 days to turn that back in to students with feedback. So that's the Insights tab, and there's now uh, also the ability to export that to Excel. So that is the Grades tab and the Insights tab. In addition, uh, a brand new thing, uh, just today is the first time I saw this one, under Insights is Distribution. So this is uh, the distribution of grades in the class and use some AI to determine what's the best tool to display this with. So you've got a bar graph for grade distribution. They decided a pie chart was better for um, when things are turned in. And again, average feedback time for a teacher. That, that one uh, isn't really any different view than the uh, trends and distribution. You really get the same thing there. All right, so that is, again, grades and insights.